So this is the login page. And then set up the logout. So the configuration part is done. I need to auto add this field. Okay, so initialization configuration done. Now let's create the login page. So set in the controller. So it's complaining about. Okay, so we added this field, we didn't, so we don't need that for now, so let's remove it. Let's log in, and this method is going to be login, and the page is login. And we also need the sign up page. Add the sign up page. And this is the form where we are going to create a new user. So the method for this is going to be post. Okay. So let's create the page. The page is pretty simple. So login. Uh, you are going to uh, when you click the submit it's going to go to the login this is handled by spring so we don't need to do anything over here so username the field name is username and the password name is password okay next the sign up here uh, same from login sign up but this is going to be handled by our home controller over here uh, simple username and password so let's go to the home controller and get the request parameter on is username and there is a password Let's add a class for encoding our password. Okay, let's go to the home controller. We need to add one more service for getting the roles from the database. interface let's implement this let's copy paste few things get the role and 
the session factory. Field roll name. Okay, let's the home controller. Let's get the user role for sign up. Let's get let's put it for the new user. Sorry, I didn't put the Over here to get the roles. Now let's create the roles for the new user. Now let's create the app user. We use a name, password, and the list of roles. So, role is created. When the role is created, then we're going to redirect to the home page, our login page. In this case, we're directing to the login. I haven't created the Login. Okay, we need to create that. So we sign up, and this is going to be login. Okay, so it's going to go there after sign up, so that we can log in. Uh, yeah. Well, let's take a look at the user role. Everything looks okay. And the database config, we need to add this class. Dot class. Okay. Well, let's restart the server. And let's see what happens. Problem. That's not problem. Okay, so I found out the problem. I didn't add this annotation over our roles. It's many to many uh, because one user can have many roles and one role can be assigned to many users. And the fetch uh, parameter over here says that whenever you pull the user from the database, you also pull its uh, roles. And in the database, you need to uh, delete the app user uh, before restarting the server so that uh, the column role uh, adds over there. So we have our uh, app user, user role, and the third table is created for the many to many relationship. So let's now add 
the role user which we have set our code okay now let's go to our browser and refresh so I'm going to get a redirect okay the problem is I didn't say that it's permitted by all so let's redeploy deploy done now it's coming properly yeah so let's sign up first let's create a user uh, skip such as and password one two three let's sign up so sign up is done now let's see the password and sign in so you're getting, getting a login error if something is wrong so the error is over here since I didn't encode my password need apply and deploy done let's sign up again okay let's add the tray sign in and now it works okay guys so that's it for this video uh, this is how you configure spring security to your spring mvc application and one thing i told you at the beginning of the video and that in our security config i have added this enable method security so what it does is uh, suppose you have a method over here and you only want to let's suppose test so you only want user who has used certain authentication can access this for example role user or role admin so we already created the role user and assigned it to the user linus and so if you have many other roles for example role admin and role other stuff in your database so uh, everyone that uh, every user that has the role user or role admin can access this url anyone else is not going to be able to do that so if i uh, like put this over here for admin and uh, let's put a test page uh, I'm not going to create another page for this, so let's quickly redeploy. Okay, redeployment is done. And let's go to the page, sign in again. Password one two three. Now we can view this page, but if we go to test, then we are going to see access denied because this user does not have the role admin. This user has only role users, so you can add multiple uh, role over here and assign it to a different user, like we have done in our sign up over here. Okay, looking at this code, I see I didn't put the roles in this uh, roles array list. So roles dot add so. So this will add the role user to your database. So let's redeploy. Redeploy done. Now if we add the user using the sign up one to three. User is done. Now if we go to the user role, I will see that user 3 gets the role user id 1 which is this so yeah understand so that's it for this video guys if you have any question feel free to ask uh, in the comment below i know it's a big video but there's nothing else i could do about it so yeah thanks